Hi guys, today we're going to look at one of the most popular budget keyboard, the GMK67. But before we start, I want to thank everyone for the 200 subs. It really helps my channel to put out more videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. If you're into mechanical keyboards, you've probably heard of the GMK67. It's a hot swappable Trimo keyboard priced at only 30 US dollars. So my box came a bit roughed up, but everything looked good inside. It comes with a braided USB-C cable, a switch and keycap puller, and a 2.4 GHz USB dongle as well. It has adjustable non-slip rubber feet, so you have three different typing angles to choose from. The build as you'd expect from a $30 keyboard is all plastic, but it feels sturdy enough. It also comes with a really good knob for volume control. And the plate as you can see is polycarbonate, which I personally prefer. So now let's get a look inside to see what it really has. So the keyboard has a power and gasket structure which isn't the best but really impressive for the price. What surprised me was the foams inside. I didn't expect a $30 keyboard to be doing this but the GMK67 has the plate foam along with the pour on PCB foam and below it has a case foam. And if you like a foamy keyboard, you can also add a backside PCB foam or a tape mod as well. So below the case foam, it has a 3000 mAh battery installed which will last you about 20 hours on a single charge. I didn't want to mod much for the build, but stabilizers make or break a keyboard sound. So I disassembled the clip and stabilizers, removed the lube, pasted thin layer of painter's tape on the wire, and re-lubed the housing with 205 and the wire with dielectric grease. The thing I like about clip-in stabilizers is that it saves me a lot of time. As opposed to the screw-in stabilizers where you literally have to take apart the whole keyboard sometimes. As for the switch, I'm going with the Duroc L5 Smoky Linear Switches with 67 gram bottom mount. And for the keycaps, Keytalk KDA Sweet Monster seemed like a good choice because of the color. And there you have it, a complete build for the GMK67. Thank you all for watching and let's end this video with a sound test. 